So let's make sure that the switch back to the uh, turn signal works as well. All right, y'all, today we'll be working on Bertha, my 2007 GMC Yukon SLT. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the headlights. Uh, right now, one of the uh, turn signals is out. I have LED switchbacks in them right now, and one of them is not working. So I have some new ones. They are I Bright Star, and I will have these in the description. Uh, and I got them from Amazon. So with the switchbacks, uh, when they're on, they are clear, but if you turn on a turn signal, they are amber to be compliant with your local laws. Uh, the turn signals should not be white. They should be amber. Uh, I got these from Amazon and I will have a link in the description below, but I will turn the truck on so that you can see the fault in which one of the uh, turn signals or driving lights in this case. All right, well actually, I guess both of them went out because neither one of them are working. So this one is not working at all. And then this one is just barely on. So both of them have went out. So I went to a different brand. So let's work on getting these switched out. To get your headlight out, you have a couple of points. You have screw here, you have screw there, and then you will also have to take out that screw and this screw. And these are all 10 millimeters and then the small one is a seven millimeter and then with your stock headlights these are aftermarket depot headlights with your stock headlights you will also have a screw under the inside defender well that will be a 10 millimeter that holds the bottom light on uh as well so let me get these out and i'm not taking mine all the way out because i'm just, i'm going to the top but when i pull this part loose I can get the headlight to move just enough to give me room to put in my new DRL uh, switchbacks. Uh, the screws are out and I went ahead and took all of the screws out because I'm going to be doing both sides at the same time because more than likely if one is going bad, the other one is going bad, so you might as well just replace them in pairs. Like I said, if you don't want to pay $20 for LED switchback from Amazon, you go to your local Amazon, I mean your local um, Ace Hardware, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, so you can get two standard bulbs for probably $7 or $8. So go ahead and replace both at the same time. So I went ahead and took all the screws loose. I took all the grill screws loose. That way it gave me a little bit of extra play to get the headlight out. So let's light it out a little bit so we can get the new functional bulbs in. Again, if you have your stock headlights, you will have a bolt under the fender well that you will have to take loose or they would not, it would not come loose. So just give it a little wiggle jiggle, pull the grill back. There's like a little, there's like a positioning pin right here. Once you get that out, then you should have a little bit of room to kind of slide this right past the tip of the fender. And then that will give enough room to get to the turn signal bulb, which is right there. So all you gotta do is just take your hand, twist it towards the driver's side of the truck, and then simply pull it out like so. And here you go. And from here, you just take the bulb and you pull it out. Take the new bulb and put it in. I always like to check because some bulbs can be directional. So I always like to check to make sure that the bulb works before I go and put it back in. So the parking light works. So let's make sure that the switch back to the uh, turn signal works as well. So we have the turn signal, amber, and then turn signal off and it goes back to white which is going to be the driving light so remember that now, now that we know that that works we'll put my headlight switch back to auto so that the light goes off and then you will simply take it put it back into the housing get the tabs lined up turn it towards the passenger side
is it locked in i can't tell yep and then you simply take the headlight like i said you do have a guide pin on this side get the guide pin everything lined up and then put it back together and then there you will have your functional parking light or in this case you have your functional led uh switch back bulb so again you have your parking light on and then get the turn signal in my case my program is three time and then it goes back to the parking light and then that is all she wrote so if this helped you uh leave a comment below saying that it helped like i said i will have a description i'll have a link in the description below for these amazon ibright star led switchbacks that will work for your gmc yukon so and also if you don't know if it'll work with your vehicle you can go to the bulb you can plug in your year make and model and then it will tell you if these bulbs will fit and under this list then they typically have multiple bulbs so like everything that you do think build enjoy hope this was easy peace